Today we'd like to talk about how do you hang your Happy Leaf lights. Um, this is our Procyon 2.0 light. Um, we also have a shorter version and the Pro light, but they all look pretty much the same. They're very lightweight. They weigh less than two pounds. And they all come with a set of cord locks, a set of strings, and basically an adjustable eye bolt that allows you to adjust it side by side. And is all you have to do to raise and lower it is just loosen or the uh, cord lock and then just pull the string up and down and you can see the whole thing can be moved up and down depending on what you're growing. This is a type of rack that we've made that allows you to hold it on a tabletop or you can use a baker's rack to hold the light and you can adjust it by hanging the light above and uh, the baker's rack. Now we're going to talk about how to adjust the height of your light over your plants and why there's going to be a need to have an adjustment. So many of you use your lights for seed starting in the spring. And seed starting does not require large levels of light. With your Procyon 2.0 light hung anywhere from 14 to 18 inches, you're going to get plenty of light for seed starting. Uh, the light puts out a 120 degree beam angle of light. So as you could see, it pretty much covers this entire area of the table. So anywhere underneath the light on this table is good enough for your seed starting. So here we have three trays set up for your seed starting. And the other type of light level that you would want for at that height is for microgreens. Those of you that enjoy growing microgreens or would like to grow microgreens, you can put quite a few of these trays under here. Easily you can put six of them and that would allow you to basically grow microgreens under the entire area. When you get to the stage where you want to grow greens, there the height is a little bit lower. So 10 to 12 inches is sort of where you want to be. This is a, a Kratky jar that basically is um, ready to go under the light. And here we want to be, I'm going to just go ahead and adjust it to about 12 inches. So there's 12 inches. Oh, excuse me. Um, that's about 12 inches because the height is higher, we're basically closer to the light. So that's about the right height. You can put 24 jars underneath this and still have plenty of light for your various greens and herbs um, under the light. Now, if you're going to grow tomatoes, cucumbers, beets, anything that actually produces a fruit, you're going to want to be even a little bit closer. So there, six to eight inches is where you're going to be. So what you would do is you would drop your light a little bit and adjust it this way and then get it closer to your plants. And that's basically how you would set the various heights for different types of uh, things that you would like to grow. When you purchase a light, your light comes with an instruction guide or a guideline on how to actually set the height. But what we encourage you to do is experiment. Uh, if your plants look like they're getting a little bit leggy, they're probably needing a little more light, so you may adjust it down a little bit. Or if the, light, if the leaves are shriveling a little bit, they may be getting too much light or burning a little bit, um, then you actually want to raise the light. The reason we give you a range is because each plant's a little different, each environment's a little different, so experiment and try things. So you'll be successful as long as you're willing to try and make it work.